in the UK. Sunderland in northeast England fell victim to rioting on Friday. Local police said they faced serious and sustained levels of violence from anti-immigrant protesters. Similar scenes in the northwest city of Southport followed the killing of three young girls at a dance class there on Monday. False information spread on social media that the suspect, Axel Rudakabana, was a radical Islamist migrant. After violence in Hartlepool and London as well, police are bracing for more protests planned this weekend. Benedict Pavio can give us the context. We got to this point partly uh, because of misinformation uh, widely spread across social media. Yes, social media again. Uh, we know that some members of the crowd last night could be heard shouting Islamophobic slurs. This has been true in other uh, riots since that deadly incident where these three little girls were, were murdered uh, earlier in the week. Uh, so some members of the crowd could be heard shouting Islamophobic slurs, chanting support of far-right activist Stephen Yaxley Lennon, who is usually known uh, his alias by his alias Tommy Robinson. Uh, Mr Yaxley Lennon's uh, ex-account has promoted false claims that the alleged Southport attacker had been an asylum seeker who recently arrived in the UK by boat, so in other words, from uh, French uh, shores. Now, the clamping down of the authorities is uh, very clear. The Home Secretary, Yvette Cooper, has said that criminals attacking the police would, quote, pay the price for their violence and thuggery. Uh, the North East Mayor, Kim McGuinness, said she was appalled by the scenes in Sunderland. Uh, and we know that the Director of Public Prosecution, Stephen Parkinson, had, in fact, uh, said that extra prosecutors have been called into work this weekend to deal with the disorder. Why? Because towns and cities, including London, Hartlepool, Manchester and Aldershot, have already seen protests into violence following the Southport knife attack. We know that over 100 protesters uh, that fired also projectiles and injured some police uh, in Whitehall near Parliament and outside the official residence of the Prime Minister, uh, Downing Street, were arrested earlier in the week. And British media are reporting that at least 30 demonstrations are being planned by far-right activists in towns and cities across the UK over this weekend, including a new protest where that uh, fatal incident happened earlier in the week in Southport. So clearly, uh, concern from the authorities and an appeal to really calm down and many communities saying that these people are being bussed into their communities. They do not represent, uh, many of those communities are saying, uh, actually what is going on in those communities. And certainly in Southport, Southport is asking uh, anybody who is thinking of doing that uh, to allow them to grieve. Uh, it's only a few days after this tragic fatal incident uh, earlier in the week.